Hi, right, hello folks. I just thought I'd do a little update on some. I have started to do some more to the farm. So I thought I'll give you a little bit of a better explanation for the compound walls and how I've been making them. I mean, I've got none of them have finished totally being painted yet because I've been casting these little things. I mean, I've, I've had to cast these four at a time and wait for each one of these to dry. They're from a hearse mould and they're just the capstones from the wall. I mean, I could have made my own mould really, but I didn't want to use my silicon for something that I could already make, so I'm quite precious with my silicon because I've not bought any more yet, so I'll just painstakingly cast those four at a time. I think I still probably need to do a bit of a 20. Yep, there for my walls for the capstone. And as you can see, that's the capstones when they're in place on the on the actual wall. Just white glued on. I'm mean, gonna have to cut one like a cornerstone and do a bit of repair work on it, but it's okay. But I thought I'd just basically explain the process because I've got a few in different bits of stages, non-painted yet, but they're getting close. That's all they're based on. I think this is a couple of mil, two mil, three mil MDF. Cut to the size you want now, because this is for my for my um, the farmyard compound wall. These are left. I'm going to leave these left square like that. But if these were to be freestanding, I would smooth these down into into an edge, a nice chamfered edge, because I think it just looks better. But because they're for the compound, I want them to slot in square. So, I mean, that's for the gate house, that's the gate house piece on it, but I just thought I'd show you the bit of material that I use. I mean, from then on, this is 10mm foam core, which you can buy. I'll just to use as the, the core for the walls. I've just cut it into squares, mounted it, job done. Some stuff I had knocking around. Just a little bit thick and the stuff I met the buildings out of mechanizer wall. And I've just hot glue gun that directly to the MDF. I'm going to do the same with the corner section. As you can see, that's a corner section. Just cut it, stick it together, hot glue it down. Just because just, it's going to be a wall, it's not going to have much hassle. So, one thing I do do on these is there's a nut bleach, and there's just a nice way to cover your edges and stuff, but I found a quick way. No messing around when you get a, a foam edge like that is I just get some sticky labels and just address labels and just to cover cover any other foam joints. I'll just literally bang a couple of address labels over. And it just means when you actually put the texture on, it just gives you a nice even even finish and I'll do the same same on the ends because the ends are going to take a bit of a bit of bit bashing because they're going to be the bits that are up to each other put up to each other so I just stick stick some labels on them give them a nice finish on the edges as you can see nice and quick to do when you get these address labels from Woody anyway. Like boxes of them. It's cheap as chips, nice and cheerful. When they've had a couple of coats of PVA glue and a bit of varnish. I always tend to hit, hit edges with varnish and stuff. Just as like down there, my mantra. I like things to last. That's why in future I'll be casting these. But I thought I'd just show you how I'd make make them out of foam just quickly like because the PVA glue when you coat this will soak through these so you see it just gives it a nice tidy look jobs are good and literally all I do from something like this 
cut stones is I literally just grab, grab my PVA and as always PVA just blocks up. I do put quite a lot of white glue on these anyway so I literally just bash a load of white glue down there and just put the capstones on. Now I use two different types of plaster to cast these one plus one cot type of plaster was obviously a bit of a superior quality. So the castings I got off him were like better than the other ones. So what I tend to do is it worked to my favour now because I wanted the capstones to be kinda quite weathered. I tend to put two of the better quality ones, the clean and tougher ones at the ends because they're going to take the most swelling but the more weathered ones I kind of like to to work in because they'll give um, they'll give the walls that like sort of weather beaten look I mean none of these sections here that I'm doing have got any like battle damage or brickwork showing which I'll do a few that I have. Sort of represent sort of shell holes. I'm actually going to do some individual pieces as replacement pieces when I get a bit of chance to do um, when the actual sections are hit the in game. I can replace them with battle damage. And you see, it's real straightforward. It's a barber man. I mean, that corner section there, you do actually have to cut, cut one, or you have to cut two to get the angles you want. So, let's just get your micro saw and just cut. Sometimes these have a tendency to do that, but it doesn't matter. I'm trying to find one of the, the tougher, tougher pieces. It doesn't matter because those bits there can be used as um, broken. These are so soft as well. Just let the um, saw do the work, don't try and force it. Just let it just tick off from it. Just pop it on. And you're not gonna get I'm not gonna get a perfect thing with these, so what I tend to do is to get these buggers buttied up as best as I can. I want a bit of an out hang on the corner, you see. I'm going to put it up as best as I can. Fill that extra section out there because this is such a, a tiny, going to be such a tiny seam. I'm not going to cut a tile 
in the middle that I'm actually going to manually throw that bit later. As you can see, quick and cheerful. And that's one. It's already had a little bit of filling done to it. And stuff. And you can see, it's nothing to it. It's pretty, pretty quick to do. Which, I mean, the, the most time consuming bit on this was actually casting all the bloody capstans for, for it. That took longer than actually building the rest of the things. Now, as you can see on the bottom, all I've done there is I've got some like stuff that's like dash pronto because I thought I know to give things a nice little bit of a irregular edge there because it breaks up the squareness of the walls and it gives each wall its own indistinct its own distinctive kind of look so no two pieces will ever really be the same and all it is is dash pronto sculpted in there with my finger put in there and I've literally just used a standard sculpting tool to sculpt in some patterns and compress it down a bit and it gives a piece a bit more weight makes it a bit more a bit more rotund nice word there for you so I think rotund will sound myself but you can see from that stage there I mean, this is one of the bigger pieces I mean he is textured all round glued on top, all glued on top a couple of cuts made in some of the stones to make them fit but it's had the it's had the um, dash pronto layer put in there I will put some more texture on this add some more sand and stuff to the base at some point I'm just going to let everything dry first and it's had a layer of normal normal building sand or bird sand what you can get from the bird shop and then after that I've hit it again with a layer of cement and ready mix sand which is a bit of a finer grade to give it that sort of patchy look it's exactly the same way as I did on the main farm buildings as you can see I mean these are, these aren't med generic so these only fit in a certain way on the on the actual map on the actual playing board so you'll find there's a little bit of discrepancies mm. I mean, you're putting some down to each other because I made to fit only one way, which I do believe is that way. So you can see that's what they kind of look like, and they're, and they're together on the table. So I'll just move the camera. You can see that. That's how they'll look. So. This has been a little bit longer than I meant to be, but I just thought I'd show you the process of how I'd make the compound walls. Um, you might not see any posts of me for a little bit, as I said, I'm going to be a bit busy, but I will try and keep watching. And I'll keep trying to chip away and give you a proper big update on the farm when I get back into the full swing of things. Anyway, thanks for watching, and everybody take care of themselves.